What is going on, Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, what we're going to be getting into is the New York Jets against the Houston Texans. It's game week. We can't forget about the New York Jets. They play football games. They don't just make storylines. There's games to talk about. The Jets are 4-8 and eight with the 32nd offensive offense. 32nd offensive offense? The 32nd in offensive DVOA. There we go. And third in defensive DVOA. So what does that tell you? Really great defense, really garbage offense. Texans 7-5, and five, 11th offensive DVOA, 15th in defensive DVOA. The big storyline from this game, he's back. Zach Wilson, baby. Zach Wilson, they're going back to him after benching him. After his poor performance up in Buffalo, he gets benched. New starter, Tim Boyle. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Tim Boyle comes in to start for the game against the uh, Miami Dolphins. That ends in disaster. And then he starts against Atlanta, and that ends in disaster. They pull him for Trevor Simeon. Simeon comes in. He doesn't look good, so they're going back to Zach Wilson. All right, fine. Apparently, Robert Sala says that he gives him the best chance to win. Why did he bench him? Because he was looking for a spark. Robert Sala said to Zach Wilson to let it rip. So what are we going to see from Zach Wilson? Are we going to actually see him let it rip? Because he's been reluctant to. And I think part of it is because the Dutch are like, don't turn the ball over. Please don't turn the ball over. And still turnovers are there. 12 turnovers in 10 games. Uh, are, are we just going to hear him say, you know, F it and throw 40 times and push the ball down the field? I hope he does. I hope he does. That'd be fun at least go down swinging, right? Like, this is probably his last five games as a New York Jet and he's auditioning for another job. I hope he goes out there and tries to, you know, to just say F it. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it up to Garrett Wilson rather than just taking the check down and be late on the check down anyway. You know, like let's go out there and at least try to have some fun. Try to score some points offensively. Get aggressive. On the other side of the field, see this is the interesting thing. It's former defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers, now head coach and second overall pick quarterback. The difference is C.J. Stroud is the quarterback for the Houston Texans. Zach Wilson is the quarterback for the New York Jets. Stroud, 20 touchdowns to five interceptions, 295 yards a game. Kid's been unbelievable. Um, and I, like I said, they're a really similar team, Houston is, and the New York Jets. They have a defensive-minded head coach with an improving defense and the second overall pick. And unfortunately, the big difference is Stroud versus uh Versus our guy, Zach Wilson. But Stroud, man, I, I really was a big fan of him coming out of school. Uh, happy to see him doing well. He's a really fun young player. And he's going to be really, really difficult to go against. Because one, how accurate he is. And number two, he doesn't really turn the ball over. There was, He had one really bad game where he had multiple turnovers. I believe it was three a three interception game. Um, it was very, very bizarre. But he normally doesn't turn the ball over. I don't think he's going to throw the ball for 295 in this game. The Jets defense should be able to get after him. Uh, he has taken some sacks. Um, but overall, Stroud is going to be a fun one to watch, and I'll be keeping my close eye on him. Okay, I mentioned Zach Wilson's turnovers. He has 12 interceptions. Uh, excuse me, 12 turnovers. Uh, it's a mix of interceptions and fumbles lost. 12 in 10 games. When you look at the Houston Texans defense, are they an elite level unit? Not yet. They have some nice young pieces. Derek Stingley in particular uh, was taken one pick before Sauce Gardner. They took Will Anderson. Will Anderson's been a sack machine recently. And Derek Stingley has four picks in the last three games. He has been absolutely unbelievable. Derek Stingley has. So watch out for him as he's getting his ball hawking abilities going. Uh, and Zach Wilson coming in. Supposedly he's going to be more aggressive in this game. Watch for him to potentially have an interception. Now the New York Jets. Okay. Will anything change for them offensively? I have a really hard time thinking so because their offense was bad with Wilson. It was bad with Tim Boyle. It was bad with Trevor Simeon. 13 or less points in six straight games. Why does that change this week? What are they going to do differently this week? I, I don't, I hope it does. I don't want to watch an offense that only puts up 13 points. Uh, but why would it change now? They are 23% on third downs worst in the NFL and 26.9% in red zone touchdown percentage. That is the worst in the NFL by far. The next closest is the giants at 40%. There's an 11% defense uh, difference from 32 to 31. That's how bad the jets are. League average is like 
54%. The Jets are 26, 26, 26 percent. That's unbelievable. It's more than 11 then. I'm not a math guy. What is that? 40%? 13? Essentially 13? Oh my God. They are that bad in the red zone and on third downs. I don't know why that changes. This has been bad. I, I track on uh, team rankings is the website I use to get uh, these numbers on like third down percentage and red zone and stuff like that. Their website goes back to 2003. The Jets are on pace to have the worst red zone offense of any of those teams. It's remarkable. This is truly the we did the EPA stat earlier in the week where we talked about of all the teams since 2000, the Jets are worst offensively in EPA, uh, offensive EPA. So it's historically bad. And as I mentioned, last thing before we get into our stat prediction, Jets defense, I think, should be able to get after Stroud. He's someone who does take some sacks. I think you get three or four sacks in this game. And that's enough to keep him from going for like 304 touchdowns. I don't think we're going to see that. So stat prediction, Zach Wilson back in. I'll go 21 to 36, 230 yards, one touchdown, one pick, and a fumble. Stroud will go 23 to 34, 238 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Garrett Wilson, uh, he'll be my third stat prediction guy. We'll go 7 to 96 for one touchdown. Garrett Wilson back in the end zone, maybe a deep shot. How about that? Let's get nuts. Score prediction. Okay, against the spread, 4-7-1. and one. Gross. I'm taking the Texans minus 3.5. I am not taking the Jets. That line has actually gone down. I believe it opened at 6.5, and, and now it's down to 3.5. So my final score prediction, I'm going to go 23-13. I think the Jets keep the streak alive of 13 or less points. That would make it seven games in a row. And the Texans, look, the Jets are going to be able to contain. I think the first half is a tight game. I think you're looking at, like, maybe... 13-7 Texans at the half. And then in the second half, the Texans get another 10 points, something like that. They pull away a little bit to make it, uh, you know, a, a 23-13 game. Casey, let's see who she likes. By the way, 6-5-1 and one against the spread this year. Who does she like? Casey is also on the Texans minus 3.5. So let me know your thoughts on this game down below in the comments. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you next time.